First into the ring, fighting out of the black corner, representing Turkey, it's Elif Guneri. And this is another rematch. These two met at the World Championships in New Delhi, and it was Galtrova who emerged victorious. 4-0 in the quarter-finals. At 75 kilos. Gunnery, though, has come down from 81 in recent times. Kaltsover has come up from 70. And you can tell by the stature of the two. Gunnery is and now, bring on her tight opponent. fit and at challenger 75 kilos. And challenger for the IBA champions female middleweight title. Please help me welcome as she fights out of the goal corner representing the warrior nation of Kazakhstan is Valentina Khaldova. Khaldova after beating Guneri went on to lose in the semi-finals to Caitlin Parker so she picked up a bronze in New Delhi. Got a bronze the year before at 70 kilos in Istanbul. Has won a gold at the Asian Championships. Canary, for her part, has won four bronze and a silver in various world champs. She's been around Ladies for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in our ring with our action for the evening. Your feature bout of the evening is for the undisputed IBA Champions Night female middleweight championship title. This bout is scheduled for five two-minute rounds in a female middleweight division. Your five judges being represented here tonight ringside from Uzbekistan, the Kingdom of Jordan, Algeria, Kyrgyzstan, and Turkey. And when the action begins, your referee in charge of the bell by the ring, representing the IBA by way of Korea with referee Jung Suk Cho. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as we reintroduce first, fighting out of the black corner. Tonight, she enters the ring, standing at a height of 183 centimeters tall, winging officially at 74.9 kgs. Here is, as we present, Deirli Bayanlar ve Bayanlar, Turkiye, Istanbul, Iliyar, Elif Guneri. And now, introduce the opponent, fighting out of the goal corner. Tonight, she enters the ring, standing at a height of 174 centimeters tall, winging officially at 73.1 kgs. Here we are, we present Khanimdar Min Mirzalar Kharsalinistan, Astanadan, Kazakhstanan, Valentina Kaltova! Up, no hurting, no rubber. So, Jung Suk Cho of Korea, the referee. In the white, we've got Kao Tsova. In the black, we've got Guneri. As I say, this is another rematch. We've got plenty of them tonight. It's no coincidence. And as I also mentioned, these two coming into middleweight this year from, from different ends of the spectrum. Kao Tsova was a 70-kilo fighter. Guneri was an 81-kilo fighter. So, there was a lot between them up until this year and when you look at their weights Kaltsova came in at 73.1 so plenty of room for her that's about four pounds underneath the limit if you're conversant in in old money and old measurements whereas Ganeri came in at 74.9 so it's taken some discipline on her part to get down from light heavy to middle it's the best part of a stone really and you can see the height that she's got. Just fully short with the right hand there, Ganeri, and then Kalsova comes off the ropes. Ganeri caught slightly off balance. Roy Jones just settling into a ringside seat away to my right hand side. Single right hand there from Kalsova. Right hand lead, really committed to it, followed it straight onto the shoulder, which made it that bit more difficult to counter there for Ganeri. But you kind of felt like she might have seen that one coming. It was launched from the, the back of the arena, really. Ganeri, just as I say that, let's go with a big long right hand herself.
clash of heads maybe counts over is the shorter of the two dips ahead a bit as she throws that right hand in and then just follows it as I said straight onto the shoulder that right hand is cocked and ready to go at all times again just leads off with that right throwing herself into a kind of reverse one two right hand followed by the left it's Slightly unusual. You can see just how much physically bigger Ganeri is than Kautzover when they were in that clinch there, right at the end of the replay sequence. She's got to try and use that reach that comes with her height advantage. Particularly when you're in against somebody in Kautzover who doesn't really jab. Leads off of that right hand often, as I said, tries to use that kind of reverse one-two bringing a right foot round and throwing that right hand and then following it in with a left it, it is quite unorthodox Sergei Kovalev used to do it a lot actually in the pros that right foot almost comes round so by the time you're throwing that lead right hand you're almost into a southpaw stance which means that it travels that bit further than your opponent's really expecting it to and then you pivot again off that front foot and throw the the left hand it can be very effective if you can perfect it but it does come with some risks counts over he's looking to try and jab a bit more at the start of round two and she had the better of that opener I think you would have to say okay, now he's just waiting a bit too long here she could just work that jab all day, flick it up from the waist, keep throwing it, keep throwing it, keep throwing it. But she's looking to line up that big right hand. That's what she's always looking for, just holding out that lead left there. And at the minute, it's almost like she wants to try and set up that perfect shot with the right hand. If she's not really going to throw the left. She may as well just throw the right as, as often as possible because at the moment, Cal's over is not having to do an awful lot but it's working that little bit harder and for that reason really winning the rounds again the heads come together there as Kaltsova comes in if she could just use that left Ganeri even just as a distraction she, she's almost doing it there but again Kaltsova just has to wait for that right hand to get launched threw it from too far out that time Ganeri she's got to get those feet a little bit closer so touch your gloves between the two at the end of the round not too much clean landed there from either one of them So it's around three. They scheduled for five two minute rounds. I mentioned World Series boxing earlier on. There was no female part of the competition there. It was 
only a men's competition so this is the first time under Iber that females are boxed over the longer format Decent right hand there from Calzova. Dipped to the left, kind of threw it over the top. Guderi didn't see it coming. And just got caught on the way in there, Guderi, as well. As I said, she takes a long time to want to throw that right hand. She looked to try and throw it off the back of the jab there, but she was timed nicely by Calzova in that previous exchange. And just touched with the jab there, Ganeri, she came in. The problem she's got, Ganeri, more than anything else is that she is so reliant on that right hand that she doesn't really do all that much to try and disguise it. As I said previously, any kind of a use of that lead left hand, at the very least, can serve as a distraction just block your opponent's vision make it less difficult for them to see that right coming from quite so far away but she knows Cal's over that was a good example she threw the right hand there Ganeri didn't really commit to it because she knew as she was throwing it the Cal's over was taking her feet out because she saw it so early that it was straightforward for her to do that so that's another round in the banks there for Cal's over I would say so my card that would give her a a 3-0 lead through three rounds. There was that right hand. Early-ish in the round. And there's that jab, just timed her nicely with the jab. Again, as Ganeri was just looking to open out. And Kaltsova could do more of that. She's in a good position here, the fighter on the left-hand side. And Ganeri, I think, is feeling the, the heat more than her opponent. It's about 30 degrees. It's been about 30 low 30s throughout the week. And this place has got a kind of corrugated plastic roof, so the heat just does not go anywhere at all I think it's probably hotter in here at the minute than it is outside with the temperature dropping as as night draws in in Phuket but it's intense all good experience for the fighters experienced international amateurs boxing all kinds of conditions I think the hottest arena I've been to outside of this one was uh, El Domo Santa Maria Vargas in Venezuela outside Caracas for an Olympic qualifier in 2016 and it was the same kind of setup much much bigger than this but it really really kept the heat in bit of damage to the right eye there of Ganeri that's been coming up over the last couple of rounds Maybe the odd head clash involved, but I think that that left hand of Calzova too. Good feet there from Calzova, just in and out. It would be good to see her use the jab more, though. The fighter in white—they're both feeling the pace here. You can you can see it. Just dips and easy jabs to the body there, but. Particularly against a fighter like this, it, it will do all the heavy lifting for her. Just throw that jab. Canary's there to be hit with a jab every time you throw it.
reach for that right hand a little bit. She's slightly reluctant at times to count over to get her feet as close as they really need to be. You can understand it to a degree, but I think she could just be a little bit more bold if she wanted to be. She's winning this fight comfortably, though. Let's make no mistake about that. But I think Ganeri is, is feeling the pace more than she is. And if she decided to, as I say, just get those feet a little bit closer, she could land those combinations nice and heavy. But she quite simply just doesn't have to take that chance, to be honest with you. So I don't see her at this point risking tearing up all that good work she's done in the first four rounds. I've got a 4-0 up. But maybe she will look to try and put on a little bit of a show. Ganeri there with some good old-fashioned roughhousing, just getting Cowles over in a headlock and then trying to hit her with that right hand. But the referee was wise to that. There's that overhand right. It's not an especially good-looking shot from Kaltsova, but again, she dips off to her left-hand side, throws it over the top. And as I mentioned, it's, it's difficult to counter if you don't give some ground. Nice jab and then just pulled up to the back foot there. Counts over, threw the jab, pulled back. Could have followed it with the right hand, maybe. Canary just climbing into a pretty cumbersome looking lead left hook. I just wonder about the weight with Canary because she's come down from light heavyweight to middleweight and she looks in good, good shape, but. You've got to stay at this weight in tournaments throughout the whole tournament. It's not like pro boxing. Those of you watching this will be aware. But you've got to hit that weight every other day. You, you, there's no ballooning up and then cutting weight. That would be ludicrous. That just cannot be done. And if getting down to 75 just leaves her too depleted, then that's how she'll stay. I think that might be the case. that she just hasn't got that much strength at 75 kilos possibly because when you look at the size that she is and there just wasn't that much kind of snap there for her but that's not taking anything away from Kautz over who has won a wide victory there five rounds to nil on my card I don't think there's any real doubt about it Just short with a jab, pulled her weight back and then did follow it up with another jab. She's just all round. The better fighter there, Kaltsova. And she's going to follow up that win in the World Championships with another one here. Just awaiting the final verdict, but this will be in favour of the fighter in white. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to a close. I'm going to be five two minute rounds in a female championship matchup in the women's 75 kg middleweight division. However, before we go to the official awarding ceremony and the title, we'd like to kindly take a moment and invite a very special guest onto the stage for the award ceremony. Please help me welcome the president of the American Boxing Confederation, Mr. Jose Loriano.
Joining the president of the American Boxing Confederation, Mr. Jose Lariano, on stage is our official prize money, $10,000, on behalf of the IBA here at the IBA Champions Night. To your winner and your runner-up will receive the total amount of $5,000. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecard. Your judges have all seen it the same way, ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by unanimous decision, to the goal corner, Astanadan, Kazakhstanan, Valentina Kaldova! So Kaldova with the win, and a very deserved win it was too. It was clear in every round, I felt. And celebrates with the flag of Kazakhstan. Ladies and gentlemen, in your newly crowned IBA female middleweight champion, please help me welcome from Kazakhstan, Valentina Kaldzova!